Today we are going to add RGB lights to our ductile manuform cable art. To do this, I'm going to use an RGB light strip. Hello everybody, I found this strip WS2812B. And first of all, I'm going to test if the keyboard is able to turn on all the LEDs. I'm going to divide the strip containing 23 LEDs each side. And I'm going to use a piece of ribbon cable. I'm going to prepare the edges of the cable, putting some solder paste and soldering each pin. Next, I'm going to open one of the sides of the keyboard. Now I need to unglue the microcontroller. To do this, I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to look for a free port to connect the central cable of the ribbon cable. This is the one that is going to control the LEDs. In my case, I'm going to use the port number 4 of the Pro Micro. The other two cables are going to be sold in BCC and GND respectively. Now I'm going to connect the USB cable to the Pro Micro and leave it in its position. And I'm not going to glue it, because this is just a test. And this is how it looks. Now in the folder of the ductile manuform, we are going to open the rules.mk file. And we look for RGB like enable, and we make sure that it's saying yes. Now we open the 4x5 folder, and in the same file, we are going to be sure that the RGB like enabled saying yes, and save the file. Now we open the config.h file, and in here we look for RGBDI pin. This is the pin where I soldered the central cable. In my case, it's D4. And also, the quantity of LEDs is going to be 48. The other parameters that you can see here, like animation, hue, saturation, you can find all the description in the QMK official documentation. In the RGB lighting section, you can find all the steps to enable RGB lights. For example, here is the first step that we already did, that is put yes in this parameter, and we need to define the pin and the number of LEDs. And for split cable boards, we need to define this parameter as 23 and 23 in my case. We can find also all the animations that we can use. In the configuration section, we can see the hue, saturation, brightness, and all the effects that we want to configure. Now, inside of our keymap folder, we are going to open our default keymap. And we look for the race layer. In here, I already defined some of the attributes for use the RGB light. These key codes that I configured here are in the QNK official documentation. Each of one is describing in here and it tells me that toggle is to turn on and turn off the keyboard lights. Also, we can find all the effects, how to activate brief mode, plain mode, uh, swirling mode, any one, any effect that you want. And I can use any of these codes. For example, I'm going to choose this night code. I'm going to copy and paste it in one of the keys. And now this key is going to allow me to change the effect to night. And also I'm going to use the snake mode. Now I save the file and next we are going to compile the file. In the description, I'm going to leave you the links to the videos where I compile and configure the keyboard. As you can see, all the lights are turning all correctly, and I can change the effects. Here you can see that I'm using for input the DIN pin. Please be careful not to confuse it with the OUT pin. I did the same procedure for the second half and now you can see the effects on both sides. Now I'm going to put each LED under each key. I'm going to open the first half and I'm going to bend in a zigzag pattern the strip. This strip is very flexible and allow me to do this. Please be careful not to apply much, too much force because you can damage the, the strip or the LEDs. 
and this is how I'm going to glue the strip to the switches. Please be careful to isolate the copper pins to avoid any short circuit. Now I'm going to cut the strip based on the quantity of switches for each of the columns that I have. And I'm going to use pieces of ribbon cable to join all of these parts. The right order to solder these parts is DO or D out is going to be soldered to the DI or D in. To begin with, I start with the DIN pin and then I continue this chain until the last one. As you can see, the quantities are different for each column and for the thumb keys I'm using one or two LEDs in each part. Now I'm going to use hot glue to put each LED in its place. And this is the final result and it looks awesome. Now I have RGB lights per key. Now I'm going to do the same procedure with the other half. And this is the final result, it's looking great. You can change the bright of the lights, you can change the effects of the lights. Basically, you can do whatever you want with these lights. I hope you liked this video and the result of our, our new keyboard. Please give me a like, subscribe or leave a comment if you want more information about this. Thanks and goodbye.